So hello everyone, it's your girl Jail Beauty 7 here, aka Grace, and the curls are back. So let me pull them down real quick. So I had time to curl my hair this morning before I have to go um, home, as you all know, and handle business. But today's video, this focus, is on my Nabla and Trim Mood takeover box. So just like my girl Karen Harris, I went ahead and bought this lovely box because it had the two eyeshadow palettes in it. And I have been wanting to try these, um, what are these called? The Cupid's Arrow eyeliners. So they get... Sorry, they're eye and lip liners, but obviously I'm not going to use the blue one for lip liner unless I buy a clap back. Anyway, so they had the two palettes in it, which is Analog and Midnight. And it says the art on this one is by Kate Dolan. So that's who made the portrait on the front of this one. And um, this one is just, I guess, a graphic art design that they came up with. And then there's these three eyeliners. So... They also came with a body lava and the lip plumper. I'm putting those in the 500k giveaway. Jesus, sorry. 500 giveaway. I don't know. Every time I say 500, I say 500k. We know I'm nowhere near that. But um, we're really close to the 500 mark. And I told you all I've been gathering stuff to put in the giveaway because it keeps growing little by little. So I'm like hoping around Adrian Game Over's birthday or like later on we'll be able to do the 500 giveaway and you'll see all the stuff that comes with that because I have two boxes for two different people but let's get into these palettes and let me try to stay focused so they're $24 a piece so it was a deal to get the box obviously because it's $44 so it knocked the price of one of these off by four bucks I'll say off this one since I didn't really want this one but you know we're gonna try them out both since they're here and then I'm gonna go ahead and like sell this to one of my co-workers because as soon as she saw it she's like oh my god it's gorgeous I'm like okay girl you can have it because I I'm only gonna review it and then you can have it so we're going to start off with this one because of course y'all know me I have to end with the blue one my favorite color so let me open these out the plastic and then we'll see what they look like my battery is flashing so I'm just trying to kill time and let it die and then I'll edit this part out how about that and I want to see if this one is comparable to um, some of the other Nama palettes I have because I have like the coral one and then I have like the regular nude one and then I have what is this one the um, platinum one so I want to see if all the other like those compared to this one right here so let's open it so you can see what it looks like first um so that's what this one looks like I feel like this is just a warmer version of like the coral one or it'll pair nice with the coral one as you can see so that's what it looks like let me see this one looks like I don't feel like this one is similar at all I feel like the other two are more cool tone and I feel like the first two I showed were warm tone that's why I showed them the way I showed them but this is these two I mean I feel like the cool tone ones can still accent this one nicely it's just I don't I'm not really a fan of this one I don't have any blue palettes from Nobs to compare to the blue one so I'm gonna just show you the blue one and then I will get into what I look somebody do so y'all know this was my aesthetic right here I had to have it yes 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 so I'm gonna go off camera start off with this one and then I will come back with the other one and then we will go from there so I will see y'all in a second okay okay I have returned with this eye as you can see it's quite warm which is not my aesthetic at all but you know if that's all the six pan is giving me I can't give you anything else so we just gonna go with that um, obviously I use every single shade because there's not that, you know, many shades in there to where you can't use all of them. So we're going to start with the shade Dark Room on the outer V. Then I put Camera Roll in the crease. I dusted this over everything. These are the two lid shades and this is the inner corner. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Um, I remember when I was watching Karen's video last night, she was talking about how this is a cream shade. So I guess everybody's trying to get to the Natasha Denona thing where it's like they do cream to powder S type shades. The formula on this one is really nice though. I don't feel like they had a transition period like Natasha did where they had to like, you know, trial and error with it. Because I feel like everyone I've tried from them has been nice. So there's just that. And I'm just bringing it like halfway on the eye here. It's a really nice formula. Like, it's really nice. Now, I wish the color was actually deeper, but, you know, it works deep enough for someone my skin tone. I'm just concerned about people who are darker than um, too much mouth. I don't know if it'll be, like, deep enough for them. For me, it might be, like, just a tad bit deeper for them, but not, you know. Deep enough for it to like darken anything. I feel like it would be more like 
a dust over shade. That's just my personal opinion. Since I am not darker, I can't tell you for sure. Um, but we're just taking a shade camera, like I said, and putting it in the crease here. It's just a real simple look, y'all. Now I'm going to take contact sheet. That's the um, lighter one. Y'all know I love to have like airbrush moment over the top of shades. That dark brown shimmery one to put on the back, of course, because y'all know I like to do that. Like match the shimmer to the lid. As you can see, it's looking more sparkly, but these little shades, like I told you in the um, Nomad Cosmetics video that you're actually watching today, you have to pat it on. You can't just, like, you know, rub it in. You have to pat it. So that was my mistake for not patting it the first time when I first put it on, but I didn't have anything to attach it to to make it super shimmery. So that's why they ought to be on this side. I feel like it doesn't look as sparkly as this side, but, you know, could just be me. Hopefully. In the sunlight, you can't tell the difference because I still got to take my look at me. I think I'm sexy Instagram pictures for you all to let you know that this video is coming um, probably tomorrow. So now we're taking the shade over exposed and I'm just slightly patting it in on the lid. Better job on this side and this side. I've married the two colors together, so I'll probably go off camera and like fix marrying these two together. So let's get into this champagne in the corner. That's the shade 35 millimeter. Just nicely dust this in the corner here. I'm not going to use eyeliner in this video like I told y'all because I'm going to use the blue eyeliner. I'm going to do that in the next one. And then the next palette I have to use which is the, what is it, the Cabana Club one from um, Colourpop. The new one that they just came out with. I don't know where it is. I think I left it on the bed or whatever, but I got to do a video with that. So that's why I'm just going to go ahead and use this blue one in the next video. But this is the finished eye look. I think it looks okay. I'm going to go put some mascara on and then go take some look at me. I think I'm sexy pictures. Y'all know the usual. Then I'll come back and we'll do my favorite one, which is Midnight. Anytime there's a blue palette, it needs to be in my collection. Y'all know we had to do a big with the last one. So I use damn near all the colors in here except for, you know, this shade because it's like, I didn't want any part of it. But, um, um, this is what she looks like. I wanted to compare it to Soul Blooming just because I wanted to see if the blue shades were going to be the same. But as you can see, they are not. That blue shade down at the bottom right there is not the same. And these are navy shades. So that's why I put this one to compare to these. But, um, yeah, I meant to show it early in the beginning and I forgot. But let's get to this eye look. I want to start with the crayon, though, because I want to finish, like, this eye off completely. And then get you with the crayon on the other line and then go from there. So... Go ahead and do that. I know my blush does not match like my eyes at all, but it's fine. You know, I just grab the blush and put it on. But so these are what they look like. I they had a really dark brown one I wanted to get because I could use it as lip liner and eyeliner, but I ended up never buying it or it never went on sale. I forget exactly what happened. It kept going in and I stock at Ulta, and that's why I ended up you know not having it. But let's start in the waterline and see how we're doing here. Cause I want to see how creamy it is. Ooh, okay. Well, the thing is, I feel like it's a really thick um, tip, but, you know, it's fine. But it's supposed to use on your lip and your eyes, so I'm assuming that's why it's so thick. It glides pretty easily and creamy. It's not as creamy as the Patrick Tower, but, you yeah. know. And it's not as small as the Patrick Tower, but, I mean, it gets the job done. I like the way it looks. So. Now we got that done. I want to give you an idea and first impression on it, so that is how I feel about it. It's a rich, nice, thick, navy shade, and I am here for it. I was going to buy the one from um, Juvia's Place, but now I don't have to because I have this one. So, yay of me. We're over here trying to win. So, I use basically this, damn near all my Sigma brushes. So, we're going to start off with the Sigma E45. Y'all know I love me a good Sigma brush. I have been loving Sigma brushes since I first started in... Um, Using makeup, so we're just gonna take this one and start blending the navy on the outer V. I must say, I thought the navy was gonna be like more pigment than it was on first application, but it might just be like the brush I used or the fact that that cream would just blend it out so smoothly, and the fact that this isn't a cream and I feel like I have to put in more work because y'all saw the cream was just colliding on it. I was like, yes. So this one I have to put in more work. 
or either of you looks nice and dark and vampy like I like. So now we're going to take the shade Air. That was the shade Blue Hour. This is the shade Air. And y'all, this just, to me, just looks really ashy on me personally. But since, you know, it's not like you truly see it because I hope you are distracted by the lovely shimmers. But see, like, it doesn't even look like blue in the, like, on my eye like it does in the pan. It just looks like, you know, white. My personal opinion just looks like I put on a white shadow and dust them right here. I don't see any blue in here, but you can let me know what you think. Do you see any blue? Because, girl, all I see is just pasty white. Pasty white shadow. Like, maybe like this, this much blue. I don't really see any sort of blue. And this is a Sigma E33. This is my Detail Diffuse Crease Brush. And I use this in particular because I was like, if it's a past, you know, if it's a pasty shade like I thought it might be, I was like, I don't want to have a whole bunch of color that I have to try to blend out. So I'm going to use something that's going to diffuse that color, which is why I use this. And I'm just going back in with the one with the navy on it, just because I want to see more navy than I want to do. I'm like, I don't need to really, you know, be worried about that. So let's start off with the shade Sapphire, which is the navy blue. Shimmer and oh my god, these shimmers are gorgeous, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and pat this back here real quick. And look how gorgeous that is, honey. Yes, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Okay, so on the back out of you right there, we're starting there. Now we're gonna go with the shade Quiet Storm. Oh my god, this one is just insanely gorgeous. Let's get the pat, honey. We get the pat and all of it. Look at that. Look at it. Oh my god, it's insanely gorgeous. And I just, I can't. I'm just trying to pat it toward the middle since it's like the brightest one with the most dual chromey. And then I put the lighter one toward the front as y'all can see. But, you know. Oh, that was a BK Beauty brush. I'm going to take the shade Alma now. And that's like the white iridescent one. And I just took it on a pencil brush and went up the eye to blend the rest of the shades. And then, you know. the inner corner as well so just a little... now look how gorgeous that is yes y'all know this is just my type of eye aesthetic and everything and I'm taking this E35 taper blending brush and just dusting over all of this stuff to give it that like airbrush effect y'all know I love to do so put it in there and dust it over and honey child, yes. I think I'm going to end up filming my ColourPop video tomorrow. I wanted to do it today, but it don't look like it's happening because I'm trying to leave here by a certain time. And I think it's already close to a certain time. Yeah, it's like 11.30 now. So I was trying to leave here by like 11.30, 11.45. So I'm going to film the ColourPop video tomorrow. Okay, um... So I'm going to off camera run this navy blue probably on the lower lash line. So you'll see it in my Instagram um, picture that I take with this palette. But I'm going to zoom y'all out so we can talk about both the palettes. Okay, so that's a little bit better. So what I do with the other one? Oh, as usual, I try to put it away and like be all proper and nice. Like I didn't have to film the rest of the video. Okay, so we got the analog and of course the one that's on my eyes now, which is midnight, and we all know which one I am happy about is <laughs> midnight, but we're gonna talk about this one first to get it out of the way. Okay. So I'm actually really obsessed with the shade overexposed. I think it's gorgeous. Um I really like the shade dark room as well. I like the way it blends out. Only thing I don't like the fact that this is like a topper S type shade and it's not really like really impactful as on own. But I feel like it'll go good with the um coral palette so it's like i would put it on top of the shade red um sh shape here and i feel like it would give gorgeous color to it matter of fact let me swatch both of them so you can see what i'm talking about because i feel like they just look amazing swatched on top of the shape 
or tapping on top of it. Like, look how gorgeous that looks. And that's that shade I was talking about, overexposed on top of the shade, red shape. Like, look how gorgeous that looks like. Yes. <laughs> so, I feel like that is a gorgeous shade. And this chocolate brown, I just really like for the outer V and just the formula of it. I wish they had did that with the navy shade because I feel like I would like it a million times better. But... If you like warm tones, I definitely feel like you'll like this palette. If you like cream to powder shadows, you'll really like this shade. That is like the shade I'm most impressed with other than overexposed. I wish overexposed was pigmented like the shade 35mm. Because I mean like who doesn't have a million champagne shades in their palette since, you know, everybody loves to make neutral and warmish tone palettes. So this not, is not my favorite. However, um, if you like um, this color, the formulation of this is really nice and I think you will like the palette. Now let's get into my favorite one, which is one that's on my eyes, Midnight. So I was actually kind of disappointed with the navy shade with how much blending I had to do to get it to blend out the way I wanted it to. I feel like the one in the Tasha Denona palette just blends way easier for me. But I mean, like, it costs more, so it, I feel like it just should. But it, it didn't take a whole lot. It's just It just took a little bit more than my personal liking. Um, I like all the other shades just fine though. I didn't use this shade, but I figure it's pigmented just like the other ones were. This is my favorite shade in here, Overexposed. I'm sorry, Quiet Storm. Oh my God. Like, if you see the reflect in this, it is insane. Let me go ahead and swatch that one. And then Sapphire is really nice too, just because, you know, who doesn't like just a simple blue shade? But, go ahead and swatch that. Like, look at those. Like, this... It's the one I was talking about, Quiet Storm, and then it's the Sapphire. I like both of those a lot. So if I had to tell you to pick one, you already know which one I'm going to tell you to pick. I'm going to tell you to pick Midnight. Now, I am disappointed in this air shade because I was hoping it would show a little bit blue. I feel like it doesn't show blue on my skin tone at all. On Karen's skin tone, it's still blue. But remember, Karen's tan, and I am, you know, I have melanin. I am melanin infused. So if you are, like, darker than Karen Harris, I feel like that color is not going to show up on you very well. I feel like the shade in the Soul Bloom palette shows up a little bit better, but I feel like that was the, the um, that air shade I showed you. That lighter one is more of a um, cream formula shade, so I'm figuring that's why. Because this shade right here, I felt like showed up better. I did a video on it like a while ago, and it showed up whatever actual shade it was, whereas I feel like this does not. But it could just be because of the formulation of it being like that cream to um, powder type formula. But either way, y'all know I picked this palette. So, if I had to pick one, I would tell you to get this one. They actually gave me a cold when I bought the beauty, I bought the trend Mood box. It's the cold Nabla, and you get, I think, 30% off um, Nabla palettes. But, yeah, those are my thoughts on the palette. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed. Bye, girl.